Arthur, this is probably one of the most weirdly buff servants that is a five star. Like, holy crap, his buffs have been so good yet so bad for what he kind of wants to be doing. It's like they keep hitting it, but also missing the point at the same time. Um, I know people were saying something similar to Dioscuri, but in my opinion, Dioscuri's buff was a fix that they should have not, they should have had from the beginning, especially in comparison to their like five star counterparts. Like Benny Anma has a 30 battery, um, Prong Sisters has a 30 battery, Dioscuri was going to get a 30 battery. No, that, that wasn't up for debate. Arthur, while well, all of his competition, kept getting 30 battery buffs, they were buffing his other skills that kind of didn't matter. They buffed his instinct, they buffed his mana burst, now they buffed his battery. And the thing is, this is coming like way too late for them to get like good feedback on like the buffs. Because they keep buffing him in a way that people don't use him. Uh, obviously, if you like Arthur, you're going to use him. But it's like, why would you use Arthur uh, and like get better card refund when in Buster, it's so heavily esports? Like, that's kind of the issue. They want him to be like a CQ unit, but he doesn't have the CQ stuff. And but he has the CQ refund, right? We'll get into it a little later. I think the buff was needed. And as much as I, like, I'm going to complain about his uh, MP damage, this is a good buff. It just, like Geronimo, he needed this, like he needed like back-to-back -back Ozymandias buffs. Like they needed to buff this skill and then they need to buff his MP in a couple months. Like, that's how it's been for the last few years. And it took them a few years to do this buff that a lot of people were saying he needed years ago. Uh, like, essentially within the first year of Koi and Skaya. But I think he got uh, this his first skill buff in that time. So that's kind of why there's been this delay. It's just like buff timing has just sucked. All right. So base attack, nice and high at 12.4K, almost 12.5, good to see. HP, almost at 14K. It's not as high as Artoria's, but his attack is way higher. It really helps with him being a crit DPS, which is definitely something Artoria is not. Her face cards suck. You use her for the meme of turning all her cards into buster cards, and then her buster face cards are good when you're doing buster brave chain and spamming that shit. Arthur, his buster crits are just good in general. He has a lot to buff up his buster crits. He can double stack his crit buff. And then he double stacks his card buff too. And now he's double stacking an attack buff. Let's keep going. Star weight, the star gen. These are normal saber numbers. Almost the exact average if I'm not mistaken. Uh, MP charge is at 0.84. This is what Saber has, I'm pretty sure this is her exact hit counts. This is her exact. Okay, no, little different. Two point lower MP gain and one hit lower on the quick card. But then very nice five hit extra attack. Better than Artoria. Like it is what it is. His upstairs is just better than hers. Like flat out. Uh, hang on. Uh, thank god it links right to it yeah no he he has a hundred a thousand more base attack which as a crit dps that matters far more for him having a high base attack than artory like it, it works out in the end all right first skill okay yes so the buff order was second skill first skill and third skill uh so we start with the second buff it was a flat mana burst, one time by uh, one turn 
50% buster on a five turn cooldown. When they buffed it, they made the mana burst three turns and they gave them 30% MP gen. I'm pretty sure I remember people saying like, what the fuck are they doing? Like, yes, this is super strong for Coin Skya, but he wasn't wasn't looping with Coin Skya. The thing about his damage is it was, if they had given him this, him the attack or again, I'm gonna get, I'm doing this a little out of order because I already did the calcs. So I'm working uh, further back than I usually am. But I, I got to give context. So yeah, this is fine in uh, CQ's boss fights, which again, more likely you'll find super large, but this runs its, into its own issue that this doesn't matter for Buster farming. It's nice, it just doesn't matter. So instead of Buster, like, in, like obviously you probably bring in a CQ, you keep bringing Merlin over Oberon easily, but this kind of just, you're, you're probably not using him with Oberon. In a CQ. Second skill, basic instinct, 15 stars, dog shit. Pretty sure instinct is like fully buff. Like there is no one in the game that has this or it's like one servant. Yes, instinct is a fully phased out skill no servants in the game have instinct anymore. Buffed it, made it double the stars, and gave them 50 crit damage. Notice the cool uh cooldown on a five turn. He is five, five, five. That is his, probably one of his strongest aspects. You do not need a pen five because he gets his cooldowns like within the Koi and Sky turn. So if you have uh, the coins, mana loading goes first, and then you can pick and choose where you want, but you really don't need a pen five for him at all. It's it's honestly a little, I wouldn't even call it a detriment because it, it literally doesn't matter whether you have it or not. Third skill is the buff. It was a 100% power mod against super large enemies and a 20 battery flat on, again, five turn cooldown. Super large. Oh, I already have this open here. Is all of these enemies and some of these servants. Granted, one, two, three, you'd actually could consider bringing Arthur to fight them in the first place. If they're super large and they're alter ego, he'll take less damage. And yeah, no, he'll just take less damage from them, especially if you don't have a pretender. These are the super large enemies. And not gonna lie, super large is a lot wider than I thought, but also smaller. Because these enemies, a lot of these are like special enemies. Like you do not run into these in farming like often. Like a lot of these are named enemies like uh, Basmu. Like I'm pretty sure this is from some rank up boss enemy and it only shows up in Babylonia I'm not sure if that's Babylonia story no booze okay bring him to Guda Guda Sphinxes demon pillars it, it it feels like it's a wider niche but the thing is his competition has anti dragon in Sumanai and dragon is a much smaller niche but you hit servant that's the key thing you hit servants on dragon you barely hit servants on super large so even for cqs his power mod isn't doing that much for him um, again unless you're fighting uh tiamat uh, King Protea or Space Thrash. Space Thrash probably more recent for uh, JP, but uh, uh, yeah, no, Arthur would actually do pretty well against her. Yeah, 
Oh, because she would she would be doing neutral damage. Yeah, no. So the be the same as uh. Yeah, you'd be doing neutral damage, and she'd be doing neutral damage to him. All right. So buff gives an attack buff, which can double stack. Made his power mod three turns, which is awesome. This is the Shisho treatment, and they upped his battery from twenty to thirty. In a vacuum, this is a great buff. And like, it's crazy because um, uh, I kind of was feeling this way about Emiya, or I was feeling the opposite way about Emiya. It's in that like, Emiya could already do farming, so his buff made his farming better, but he still probably needs like an MP buff because his MP sucks. It, it is bad. He got, he got fucked by getting an early MP buff. Um. Arthur, on the other hand, he couldn't do farming. He needed this buff to do farming. It was because the restriction was if they wanted to buff his MP, he still would have been unusable in like farming because he was he only had a 20 battery. So his MP, they would have needed to give him a buff. They gave him 10% on refund, which would be a waste for him specifically because he's supposed to be just a harder hitting uh, Excalibur than Artoria's spamming Excalibur. Um, so like a, a bad MP buff for him would fuck him over permanently. So it does make sense for them to fix the fundamental issue with his MP first on the skill, fix his battery and give him an attack buff, which will help with his crit and it will multiply well with his buster buff. Or do you buff the MP, do it scuff, and then he still has like 20 battery shit. They don't like five stars having 20 ba self batteries. They're going back and fixing all of those to be 30s. Deal with Bradamante. Um, Deal Scary didn't have it. Um, trying to remember who else. But it's like they, they want the 30 number. So right now, Arthur is going to be from not used at all in farming unless you're really fucking bored and just wanted to do double Oberon to actually being used in more cases than Sumanai as long as you're not fighting dragons. And even still, if you're fighting dragons, Arthur is not falling off too hard. But if it's a dragon saber, he's shit out of luck instead of an actual fucking dragon. Passive skills, 20% debuff resistance. Uh, riding B for quick performance, 8%. I already said it. Mana loading is a must for his farming. And then he really doesn't need anything else. Uh, you can get the crit damage. Anti-saber, kind of okay. But this would be more important if you actually had anti-dragon instead of anti-super giant is what it is um but more likely than not uh you're gonna pick extra attacks uh because he's gonna have fantastic gains on this five hit and he has high base attack so it's just gonna do a lot more damage than it otherwise normally would this extra attack performance just scales well with all the buffs he would have active mp his biggest pain point no normal effect and a pitiful plus 10% MP damage. Thank God it activates first. Oh, oh my God. I, I really don't want to be shit talking Arthur. I really, really don't. Um, And when I did, did my calcs, which I'm going to show in a little bit, uh, it wasn't a fair comparison to put him against Sabuki because... Abuki wasn't actively being hindered in the node. He was because he was fighting someone's sky. While I believe Abuki is sky. So. A little inconsistency there. I'm going to make sure like in the future. I always show the like damage percentage at, at the end. So people can. If I like say a wrong number or like that's the reason. It's not because the unit is bad. It's. Uh, Laplace calcs min roll and then 
they were also fighting someone that they would do less damage to. Um, but I prefer testing on the QP node just because a lot of people will just be using a servant on the QP node. Maybe not buster farming the QP node, but a lot of people just will have to do the QP node for the entirety of the game. It just feels like a good node to test things on. Sorry for that justification. Uh, okay. Ascension. He needs proofs. Fuck. Every servant needs proofs. He needs dragon tooth teeth. Fuck. I hope you still have from, some from Milato. He has dragon scales. Eh, not that bad. You can farm with Stormpod node for that. That's not that's not the worst. You can do far worse than this. And he doesn't need dragon scales on his skills. Unironically, it would be better if this was dragon scales and spirit root, because at least you could fucking farm dragon scales. Oh my god, that's actually really funny. He has it on the append, but it I, I think it would have been at the time it would have sucked more if this was dragon scale. But in hindsight, they made dragon scales like a hundred percent guaranteed farmable. It's like they obviously didn't have that in mind when they made Arthur back in the day. Bond CE is the same as Artoria's. It's a basic attack buff of 15% while he's on the field. Not the worst thing. And also kind of hinted that he was going to get an attack buff because Artoria had charisma. Hers has a... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. Okay. Chat, chat. Just, just remember, Arthur had his charisma buff before Artoria, and he didn't even have a charisma. Oh my god, that's so fucking funny. Oh my god, she's been getting so many buffs. The one thing they don't do is give her the 20 charisma and here they are giving it to arthur first oh my god like they didn't even do that to salter they didn't even buff the charisma on salter either oh my god like what the fuck is going on at hq that like <laughs> they're giving the buffs the others need to the wrong servant Oh my god. I just had to lighten the mood on that because I'm going to be disappointed with the calculations. Um, TLDR, do you feel that. Is this buff going to make you feel the need to summon for Arthur? No. No, it is not. In fact, you might honestly just feel sad that his damage is this shit. He is in a category where every single one of his competitions except the one that can use black rail uh and hit possibly higher damage oh sorry sorry because salter can hit black rail and like do ridiculous damage the only other uh one on the looping list this one that doesn't have a buffed mp is ibuki and she can black rail loop and isn't on this list arthur is not black rail looping salter is black rail looping and hit stupid damage. Yeah. It's like Arthur is just being given a bad hand. There is so much potential in this unit. Like they could give him normal effects. Like I don't think any of his competition have like actual CQ potential. Like Mordred has defense and a buff lens. Uh, I believe that's it in terms of like actual CQ potential. Arthur has consistent crit damage that isn't hit based. He has a like attack buff and a buster buff. Like is MP ramp up MP damage, put a debuff on, or give him some CQ stuff. Give him uh. I was going to say Invo Pierce and Defense Pierce, but Abuki already has that, and they could just buff her MP. So, ramp up for him would be very, very nice, because none of the other ones do ramp up. Orger doesn't have ramp up on her MP. Altera doesn't have ramp up on her MP. 
Artoria definitely doesn't have ramp up for MP. So, yeah, that that's the niche he kind of has to hit. He has to eat, he has to get ramp up on his MP. There is no conceivable way I could. There is no other way that would make him stand out from his competition. That, that's what I'm trying to say. All right. It's the weekend now, and I'm also feeling much better. Uh, I will see you guys in stream. Peace. Okay. So time to do the testing in Laplace for his farming. Uh, something of note to say is that because Arthur is Earth attribute, he's going to do less damage against these Sky attribute enemies. That's why his damage is lower. Uh, I did test this. He does out damage Sumanai. Um, but that shouldn't be the bar he's setting. All right. So I'll show you the end results in a second. Okay. So as you can see, he's doing 180,000 damage while getting a negative modifier. So not the worst that could have been happening. Yeah, see, sub-attribute, uh, 0.9%. But this doesn't change the fact of how much of a niche Arthur actually is in. If you're not bringing him to fight super large until he gets his MP buff, there isn't an active reason to pick Arthur over any of, her com uh, any of his competition, which, unfortunately for him, literally all of his competition either um has their a niche of their own that's much easier to hit arthur for mordred and dragon for sumanai or their buffed mps just smack them around uh arthur is seriously lacking from the mp buff um but at the end of the day uh he is able to do like normal farming setups right now and the reason people like normal farming setups like standardized farming is that the numbers all are like easy to pick and choose <coughs> and do comparisons to i was truly hoping arthur's damage would just be a lot better but it is what it is um I'm going to do a run with Ibuki on this just to see because she's also suffering from this. Uh, and this is just going to be to see like whether or not like he needs the MP buff that bad. Like that will give me a better estimate of what uh, I should be expecting. So one second. Okay. Um, wow. Uh, I do believe Laplace is calculating at the absolute min roll. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, okay. So this is the min roll. Got it. Got it. Um, that min roll is still 40,000 above um, Arthur. Uh, yeah, so scratch that thought that Ibuki might get a buff tomorrow because Arthur got a buff because this is not Ibuki using black rail this is her using cranking it's like if Arthur like and again she's not getting the negative modifier so that's definitely playing into it a hundred percent that's playing into it but at the same time it's like you see this and it's like this is good damage but then Ibuki ran out of her attack buff. So uh, if we're going with this logic, like Ibuki wouldn't be getting a, an MP buff. She'd be getting a skill buff and making her three hit, uh, three time, uh, three turns attack buff. That just is flat 40%. Uh, I truly think that's the only thing holding Ibu Ibuki back from being a crit DPS like or more of one just because like 40 percent attack is 40 percent attack you can't get that from like literally any other source for buster 
but Buki is so heavily held back by that and it doesn't make sense because Melison has a 40% attack too. like yes I know it's stuck to the 50 battery but the 50 battery obviously isn't that important at this point in time 50 like them attaching that 50 battery to the skill is actively holding it back all right Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.